Hey everybody, what's going on? Thank y'all for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. As you can tell from the title, I'm fishing the Bassmaster Opens next year. I've been wanting to do this for at least, I think definitely the last two years, maybe the last three. Um, I've been fishing the BFLs as a co-angler since I was 16 and I'm about to turn 20 here in a couple weeks. So it's been almost four years now that I've been fishing BFL style tournaments. I've done some ABA. I fished one Toyota series, but mainly I've just done the BFLs on like the, I guess you would say the the national level or like, you know, a, a bigger tournament rather, rather than just like a, a local tournament or a local trail, stuff like that. So the, you know, official, official, you know, organization tournaments, I've fished some BFL, ABA, stuff like that. But I, like I said, I've been wanting to fish the Opens for a couple years now. I was going to do it in 2020. And then COVID kind of threw everything off and it, it messed up with my school schedule. Not so much in the spring whenever COVID first happened, but in the fall I started college and it just kind of threw everything off. So, and I was going to do it this year, but I was like, well, I'm going to wait a year because I just started college. So it's just, you know, COVID and starting school has kind of threw everything for a loop. But now I'm, you know, I have a, a normal schedule. I don't foresee anything else crazy like that happening. So 2022, I'm going to jump in the Bassmaster Opens. I'm fishing the Southern Division as a co-angler. So that's three tournaments on the Bassmaster Open Southern Series. Like I said, I've been wanting this for a couple of years now. Some years the Central Division is closer to me. Some years it's the Southern. You know, just they change it every year. So this year for the Southern Division, tournament number one is in the 1st of February at the Kissimmee Chain in Florida. Uh, tournament number two is the end of March and the 1st of April up in Tennessee at Lake Cherokee. And then to round out the year, we have Lake Hartwell the first week of October. So it's a, it's a really good tournament, you know, a lot of different lakes. And luckily for me, I've been to Cherokee and I've been to Hartwell. And, you know, I've, I've got some experience a little bit on Hartwell. Hartwell I've been to the most. I've been to Cherokee once for a BFL regional, and I've never been to the Kissimmee Chain, but I'm excited about it. It's gonna be a great experience. I'm, I'm really looking forward to not only getting to fish and you know have a chance to fish with professional anglers, guides, you know, people that are at the top top of the level in this sport, but I'm looking forward to getting to you know meet new people, make new friends, and have a chance to record this. Hopefully all the guys I fish with don't mind me bringing my camera and recording the tournaments. So I can hopefully get some videos out for you guys, but I just wanted to, you know, make a little announcement about this. It's kind of the off season right now, you know, there's not any major tournaments going on. And it seems like this is the time of the year that everybody's always, you know, making their announcements, saying what they're going to do next year. So for the 2022 season, I'm, like I said, I'm fishing the Bassmaster Southern Opens as a co-angler. Um, and I'll go do a little rundown real quick. February at Kissimmee, on a, on, from a co-angler standpoint, I'm thinking it's going to be most likely heavy pre-spawn, depending on the weather, we could have some early spawning action. So I'm thinking a chatterbait and a Senko on a Texas rig or a wacky worm and maybe a speed worm, just stuff like that. For March and the 1st of April at Lake Cherokee, I'm thinking a shaky head, a wacky worm, Texas rig, probably a chatterbait, spinnerbait, jerkbait, stuff like that. And then October at Lake Hartwell, I'm thinking schooling fish, fishing over deep water for spotted bass. So I'm thinking a fluke, a top water drop shot, stuff like that. So that's kind of what I'm, I already kind of been thinking about it. Um, I don't like to get too dialed in or too keyed in on something that I think is gonna happen when I'm fishing as a co-angler because obviously whatever my pro takes me to, that's kind of what I gotta adapt to. But that's just kind of where my mind's at right now. But um, so my plan for next year, like I said, I'm fishing the opens and I'm not gonna be fishing any BFL tournaments. I'm not planning on it right now. I could jump into one, but I'm not making it a, a plan for 2022 to fish any BFLs. Like I said, I fished the BFLs as a co-angler for four seasons now, three three on the BFL side, and then one year of ABA. So I've had I fished a lot of tournaments as a co-angler, and I'm not saying I'm the BFLs suck as a co-angler. I mean, if you're just getting started, the BFLs as a co-angler is a great place to be. But I think I've kind of I've kind of I feel like I've moved up from that. I've, I've done a lot and I've had some some good experiences, some bad experiences, and I feel like I have enough 
enough knowledge and enough experience now that if I fish the VFLs again, I'm gonna jump in them as a boater rather than a co-angler because yes, I still have a lot to learn, but I feel like I know enough now where I'm ready to jump in as a boater. So if I fish the BFLs uh, in the future, which I plan to do, but the next BFL that I fish will be as a boater rather than a co-angler. And I wanted to fish the Toyota series too. The Toyota series is a great trail. Um, they have, you know, the same three, three tournaments per division, but they have like seven or eight divisions across the country. And they have a no entry fee championship that pays 200 grand for boater and like 35 grand for the co-angler. So I, I'm, I'm thinking still about the, uh, the Toyota series for next year, but my locked in tournaments that I'm fishing are the Bassmaster Opens for sure. I'm still gonna be fishing, you know, the summertime jackpot tournaments at night. Still gonna be fishing the local tournaments around the house, just stuff like that. Fishing all the time, but the big, the, my big three tournaments are gonna be those opens and potentially the bat. Or I'm sorry, not the Bassmaster, the uh, the Toyota Series with MLF. I'd like to jump into a division of those and maybe have a chance to make that championship. So that's kind of where my head's at right now. But I know with with my schedule between work and school, it's hard to you know commit to eight tournaments. Uh, before the, the year's even started. So I'm gonna start with three right now, see how everything shakes out, and hopefully I can get in some of those Toyota series. But if not, I'm gonna have some videos coming from the Bassmaster Opens. But like I said, I just wanna make this quick video talking about my plans for next year and let y'all know that I am gonna be fishing the Bassmaster Opens. So y'all drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you're fishing. If you're fishing the Opens, let me know. Maybe I'll see some of y'all out there. And hopefully you'll have a, a great 2022 year for fishing, for my channel, just everything. I hope it goes really well. It's been a great year so far in 2021. And I'm looking forward to getting uh, next year kicked off on February the 3rd through the 5th at the Kissimmee chain down in Florida. So y'all be on the lookout on Bassmaster.com. Hopefully there's a picture of me riding around in somebody's boat. Y'all might see me out there. But like I said, I'll be, I'll be making some videos and you know, hopefully grow my channel even more next year. And uh, you know, once again, thanks so much and be on the lookout for my next video.